Hello friends, welcome. I'm your friend, your host Roy. Today we are talking about series 1 where we are discussing real numbers. This is episode number 12. Today's topic friends is finding HCF using prime factorization. Let's look into it. Now we know what do we mean by fundamental theorem of arithmetic. We have seen this in great details. We have also seen how fundamental theorem of arithmetic directly leads us into prime factorization and what is prime factorization. So now let's find out how we can find out HCF using prime factorization. So what is HCF? HCF of any number or given numbers is nothing but HCF stands for highest common factor. That is the largest number that divides all the given numbers. So for example, if I have two numbers, let's say if I have four and my number is 18. If I have two numbers and if I am trying to find HCF of these two numbers, what I am trying to find out is such a number which is the highest common factor for both 4 and 18. Meaning such a number which is the highest number that will divide into both 4 and 18. Right? Largest number that divides into both the numbers. And it doesn't have to be like two numbers. I could have written like five numbers or ten numbers. The idea is whenever you have a set of numbers and you are trying to find out HCF, we know that fundamental theorem of arithmetic states every number, composite number, can be broken down into prime factors. So if I have like two numbers or three numbers or five numbers, I'm really trying to find out the highest common factor, the highest number that divides into all our numbers, all given numbers. Now, so how do we do it, friends? Let's look into this. So how do we actually do find out the HCF? So as you can imagine, the first step is find the prime factors of each of the given numbers. And secondly, the HCF will be equal to product of smallest power of each common prime factor from all the numbers. So again, I think the point is that if I have 4 and 18, or let us say I also have 24. So whether I have two numbers or I have three numbers or any given number. So the steps are telling me first I have to find out the prime factor for each one of them individually. Right. If I have three, I have to find out prime factors for each one of them. If I have two numbers, I have to find out the prime factor for each of them. And then I have to find out, to find out the HCF, I have to multiply the smallest power of each common prime factor from all the numbers. So friends, again, let's take, let's take a look at some of the examples. I think it will help us uh, make it more clear. So let's start with our example. Uh, let's say 4 and 18. We want to find out the HCF of 4 and 18. So first step is to find out the prime factor. So we can write 4 as 2 times 2 right? We can write 18 as 2 times 9, 2 times 9, and we can write 9 as 3 times 3, 3 times 3. So, the number 4 can be written as 2 times 2, or we can write this as 2 to the power 2, and the number 18 can be written as 2, 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That is the number 2 and number 3 to the power 2 because the number 3 appears 2 times. And so the, the HCF of 4 and 18 will be product of smallest power of each common prime factor. So the only common prime factor is 2 because 4 does not have any 3 factor and so the only common factor is 2 and in the case of 18 I have only 1 2 as a factor and here I have 2 2's. So the lowest power so 2 is a given factor and the lowest power of 2 is 1. So which is basically 2 to the power 2 is nothing but 2. So the HCF of 4 and 18 can be written like this. HCF and we write them in the bracket for 4 
and 18 4 and 18 is equal to 2 let's take one more example say we want to find out the HCF of uh, maybe let's write a little bit bigger number let's say 10 24 and let's say um, let's say 48 so I have three numbers and I want to find out the highest common factor for 10 24 and 48 so how do I do this so first step again find out prime factors for each of the numbers so I can write 10 as 2 times 5 they are prime numbers I can write 24 as 2 times 12 and I can write 12 as 4 times 3 and I can write 4 as 2 times 2 right similarly 48 I can break this down as 6 8s are 48 I know that 8 I can write this as really 2 times 2 times 2 right and 6 I can write this as 2 times 3 so in other words um, 10 can be written as 2 times 5 24 can be written as so for 24 I have 2 2 2 the number 2 I have got 2 2 2 there are 3 2's 3 multiply by the number 3 so there is so these are the factors for 24 and finally with 48 I have what do I have for 48 I've got how many 2's again we have 2 as a common factor so 1 2 3 4 there are 4 2's multiply by and there is a 3 here so if I look at each of these numbers 10 24 and 48 I see the common factors are uh, 10 has 2 and 5 24 has 2 and 3 48 has 2 and 3 so the only common factor is 2 right so the HCF will be 2 and then we are looking at the smallest power of 2 so here the power is 1 and here I have 3 and here I have 4 so again the HCF is to the power 2 to the power 1 which is 2 so 2 is the only so 2 it's the HCF of the numbers 10 24 and 48 